Hey guys, this is Haley, and in today's video, I am going to be doing a giant service dog haul, and I am basically going to be showing you everything that I got for my service dog, Luca. He is coming home, well, I fly out to get him on July 14th. I'll be in Baltimore for four days, and then we fly home, and my trainer will be here for four days. Um, but basically, on July 14th, I'll have him for good, so that's so exciting. Um, and a lot of people wanted to see what I got for him and I thought I would show you <laughs> he is a very spoiled dog and I keep finding things that I keep buying so this isn't even all of it I know I have three vests that are coming um, another rain jacket collar type things and then I have a couple of things that I haven't been able to purchase because he is still really young and so he's still growing so I'm waiting until he's like exactly 12 months to measure him. Some of those things are like really fancy collars, uh, some fancy leashes, and his car kennel, which is a crash tested car kennel. But if you guys are curious, I'm getting the Gunner kennel. I also bought a van, which is excessive, but I'm a wheelchair user and he wouldn't have fit in my old car with my wheelchair. Um, because I had to have the back seat down in order for my wheelchair to fit. So I bought a minivan, sold my other car, and uh, now I have room for a wheelchair and a car crate. So I'm not really gonna show you that. It's a minivan, it's a Dodge minivan, if you're curious. <laughs> it's not that fancy. Oh, I also need to order some boots. I have not gotten those yet, but for like hot pavement, obviously you need that. So I'm gonna be ordering that in the next couple of days, but I couldn't wait to film this video because I won't have everything by the time I get him, so I didn't wanna wait. I'm gonna start with the big stuff so then I can move to the couch and sit down properly. But the first thing we have is his kennel, which is right here. I got the Midwest Eye Crate from Amazon, and it is, it was just one of the highly recommended crates that people on Instagram recommended to me. Some people are, I guess, anti-crate, but um, for me personally, I think it's a really great tool. A lot of dogs find a lot of safety in their crate. Um, they feel very secure, it helps them sleep better. But uh, the crate is very useful, especially because I have other animals. If anything was to ever happen, there would be a safe place for Luca to go, you know, in case of emergencies or anything like that. This is a crate cover that I got off of Chewy. Um, you can get like fancy ones off of Etsy, but they were like a couple hundred dollars, I think or they were just like really expensive and I just couldn't afford it. So um, <laughs> Lincoln's in there. Uh, this basically comes down like this so that they can feel more secure. Um, oh my word. Okay, well, cat's coming out. <laughs> um, so I just got that. It's not super fancy or anything, but he's attacking me. Dude, do not ruin the crate cover. What is going on? My cats are obsessed with dog crates. Um, my friend came with her dog once and brought like a soft, a soft crate and the cats were obsessed with it and slept in it. So I don't know, I guess the cats will enjoy it too. <laughs> All right, the next big thing I got, which someone actually sent me off of my Amazon wish list. So thank you so much. Um, but this is a pet safe uh, water station. It's giant. Basically you fill this up with water, uh, which I think I actually have to buy some replacement filters for this, but you fill this up with water and then it has a filter inside. I have not washed it or anything yet, um, so I don't even really know how it works. The next big thing that I got, well, I guess I'll show this because this is kind of related. Ah! This is a, does it have a name on it? I think it's called like a vault of some sort, um, Gamma seal lid airtight leak proof protection uh, basically it's a air proof uh, food safe container for dog food and I wanted this because it's a lot better than just keeping the dog or the food like not stored very well in like a bag or a non food safe container so also because I have cats they can chew through a bag of dog food they've already tried I have one sitting in my closet um, and cats cannot eat dog food, obviously, it can make them sick. So I decided to get this so that the cats for sure could not get into it, or the dog, obviously. So this is just probably gonna sit on top of his kennel uh, full of his food. And he'll be on, if you're curious what food he'll be on, he's on the same food 
that his trainer uses uh, while he's a puppy he'll stay on that um, and then once he's an adult I haven't decided what I will be switching him to so I don't know currently yet but that's what I'm gonna keep it in for now uh, the next large item which I have not put together yet I have no idea how to put it together but it is this giant thing oh my goodness it's heavy Ugh. It is this, it's this giant purple vacuum looking thing and it's called, uh, called the Flying Pig Groomer. It is a pet dryer. So basically after you give your dog a bath, you can use this to dry them off. And this is what my trainer uses on Luca so he's completely comfortable with it. You like blow dry them off. Um, and yeah, it's just a giant little purple machine. It's not little, it's big. So I don't even know where I'm gonna keep this because I have no storage closets in my house. So we're gonna have to figure that out. Oh, the last big item I got is this, which I feel like you can't see very well. <laughs> uh, but basically it's one of these cot bed things. I got the brand Coolaroo. And I just got this off of Amazon and it's basically just a elevated bed that they can sleep on or rest on or sit on. Oh, I also am planning on getting like a soft bed for him, but my trainer did say that he doesn't really like them. So he doesn't use them at her house. I'm just gonna buy a really cheap one at like um, Home Goods or TJ Maxx and see if he likes it just because it's a lot colder where I live than where she lives. So maybe in the winter he'd want one. All right, that's all the big stuff. Now I'm just gonna get into this giant box and I'm gonna sit on the couch for that. So now I'm gonna grab everything out of this box and show you what I got. So the first thing that I have, I'm going in no specific order, just basically what's on the top of the box. And I got this Chom Chom, which is super popular on TikTok and all over the internet. Um, basically it is a fur grabber. Um, I have a little bit of stuff in there right now, but basically you just like rub it on your couch or on blankets or pillows and it picks up hair. And it's really great. I vacuumed my entire couch and then I went over the couch with the Chom Chom after vacuuming and it was completely full of hair. I was like, whoa, like how is this getting more than the vacuum? Like it's crazy. So I really like that. Um, my trainer was like, definitely get one of these. This actually just came in the mail today and I have no idea who sent it. Um, I actually took my Amazon wish list down from all of my platforms. So someone must have still had the link and sent me this. So I'm so grateful. Whoever you are, it didn't say your name on the package. So I don't know if you wanted to be anonymous, but if you didn't, you can let me know. Um, but thank you so much. It's one of these snuffle mats, only it's like a collapsible one. So it like opens up like this and they can eat their kibble from it. So uh, most of the time he will be hand fed kibble through training, but if there's kibble left over or if you know one day we don't have training or whatever, um, I will be using uh, snuffle mats or like a slow feeder to feed him out of just so it's more mental stimulation. Um, so this is really great, especially because it like folds up like this. So especially if I'm traveling, this is gonna be so helpful because it like literally packs down to like this big, which is great. So I probably could like keep this in the car even, which is good. Then I have this, which is cool. This is his first ever vest that I have for him. And isn't it so pretty? Oh my goodness. I am in love with this. So the vest itself is from One Tigress. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's on Amazon and uh, I don't remember the exact model I got, but it's they sell a long version and a short version and I got the longer version. I think the shorter version's like this big maybe. Um, and then the patches I got are so beautiful. They're like holographic. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but they are so beautiful and I got them from a, uh, I got them customized at a Etsy shop called Pretty Patch, The Pretty Patch, and um, I'm in love with them. They're really great, super great quality, it's super pretty, and I just love how this turned out. Um, so cute, so cute, and so professional. So it just says, service dog, medical alert and response, 
service dog do not pet and then on the side it just says service dog and then I have this little attachment that says do not pet. Um, at first I didn't know if I was gonna get custom patches in time so I did order the Amazon patches but thankfully these came in time so I can use these. I'm so excited. Um, I do have two more vests coming that are custom vests but they aren't guaranteed to arrive before I go to Baltimore which is why I got this one because I need a vest before I go because he doesn't come with a vest. So I need one for the trip home, obviously, the flight home, and yeah. The next thing I got is this Messy Mutts collapsible bowl, and this was just from a small business where I live. Um, not the bowl itself, but that's where I bought it from. Uh, so it was kind of expensive, it was like $7.99. I don't know, it could, probably could find it cheaper online somewhere, but the reason I got it is because I could not find this specific color anywhere on Amazon or Chewy and I wanted this specific teal because this is kind of the color that Luca is going to be having. Obviously this vest is red and silver. Um, I'm going to be doing a mixture of like professional red, white, and black and then I'll also be doing uh, teal, black, and white um, just depending on the day. So yeah. I am so excited and this can just be clipped on their vest or you know taken in your car so that they can drink when you're out um, because obviously they need water the next thing I got was from gator dog gear which is a Instagram like gear shop but they make service dog stickers and she had a sticker that she was clearancing because it was like a mistake one so this says service dog on board do not separate I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Uh, so I'm gonna put that on my car. I actually ordered a custom sticker from her as well that hasn't arrived yet. Um, I think I'll message her and see if it'll come before Luca comes, but basically the one that I ordered is bigger. That'll go across the whole back of my car window. Well, not the whole back. It's like, you know, just a long version. I actually made my own snuffle mat and I think I made it wrong because it's so like thick and hard to like get the fleece bits apart, but I'm gonna see if it still works for him. I think what I was supposed to do is make thinner fleece strips and longer fleece strips so it's easier to get in. Um, but yeah, it took me like a day or so to make this and uh, I might try making a new one with thinner strips because uh, it wasn't that hard to make, but yeah, my cats like to sleep on it, so at least if it doesn't work for eating out of, the cats will lay in it. Um, but then I also bought a snuffle mat, which this one's made a lot better. This one was from Etsy, it was a custom one, like I chose the colors. And this one's a lot more um, like bendable, and I think she used a lot thinner fleece strips. So it's probably going to be a lot easier for him to eat out of, but maybe this one will just be like more challenging. So I don't know, we'll see. I might try to keep making them. So then my friends for my birthday got me these recordable answer buttons, which people on TikTok and like cats and dogs are like using these so much. Um, th you basically like record your voice and then you teach the animal to hit the button and it'll be like a button that says outside and you hit the outside button and then you let the dog outside. Um, and the dog learns when he hits the button, he gets to go outside. Or like, you can teach it for anything, really. Um, but yeah, there's a ton of stuff on TikTok about it. So they got this for me and I might try this with Luca, but I also might try it with the cats. So we'll see. Um, my friend gave this to me because she had it just laying around her house and she doesn't have a big dog, but it's a Kurgo harness. I have no idea if I'll use it or what I'll use it for. Um, I actually don't even know what it's for. I also don't know if it's gonna fit him, but I have it and it's teal, so I like it. So we'll see what, uh, if I end up using this. Yeah, this probably would fit him, but again, I don't do a ton of hiking, which I think this is like for hiking. So maybe if I go hiking one day. The next thing I got is a uh, slow feeder. Like I said, if I ever have kibble left over, he'll be eating out of a slow feeder or a snuffle mat. So. Um, I just got one of those, but then I was disappointed because I saw a teal one somewhere else. I think this one was on Chewy or Amazon, and I couldn't find a teal one, so I had to get purple, but yeah. The next thing is poop bags. I got the Earth-rated poop bags. They're supposed to be like 
natural or something. But then I found after I bought these, they sell compostable poop bags and I wish I would have gotten those. But I guess when I run out of these, I'll get those. The next thing I got is a water mat. But unfortunately, after I got it, I opened it up and I noticed there's like a crack in it right here. And I don't know if it happened before I purchased it or after I purchased it because I do have a cat who has Pika so he could have like chomped a hole in it. But it's on the side so I'm hoping it doesn't affect anything but it was like $40 so I don't wanna buy a new one. So hopefully the water doesn't leak out of it but it's a giant water mat that I'll put underneath his water because after they drink water kind of goes everywhere so yeah, it's huge and I'm excited about that. The next thing I got is a Chuck It. Uh, apparently this is like the all time favorite toy for labs. So I got this, but it only came with one ball. So I might purchase a couple more uh, Chuck It balls for this. Um, I do know I've tried these in the past and I'm really bad at using them. So I'm gonna need to practice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I got a Chuck It. I got a classic Kong. Obviously you can put uh, like bigger treats in here. I just ordered treats off of Naked Beast, uh, which has like freeze dried chicken feet, pig ears, pigtails. I don't remember everything that I got. Uh, so you can stick those inside of here and they can like eat out of it for like enrichment. Um, so I got one of those. Then I got a Kong Frisbee, see if he likes that. I got a Kong tire because my trainer said that he really liked this toy. And then I got this thing. I had no idea it was so huge. I thought it was gonna be like half the size, like this big. I thought it was like a stick that was rubber that you could throw for them. But it's literally a giant stick. Uh, this is by Kong as well. Um, and it's like safer than using like actual sticks for dogs because obviously they can get stuck in their mouth and stuff. So. I might have to order a smaller size because this thing is huge, but maybe he'll like the big one as well. I then got the Zoom Groom and they had two different versions. They had a soft version and a hard version. So I got both and you can use this while you're giving them a bath or even when they're dry. But honestly, I can't even tell the difference. I think this one's the soft one and this one's the hard one. They basically feel the same. Like there's no need to buy to both of them. Like this one barely moves a little bit more than this one. So honestly, I don't think I'll use both of them. I'll probably just use one for like the bunnies or the cats and one for the dog. I don't really know, but now I have two. Um, next, my uh, a friend did send a couple of vests for me, but unfortunately Luca's too big to fit into these. So I'm actually probably going to give these away. Um, they don't have anything on them. They're just plain vests. So I'll probably give those away. And then she also did give me a couple of these, which are harnesses, but they look really small as well. So unless I can make them big enough to fit him, I'll probably have to rehome those as well. So I got that one. Um, what else did she get? There was a pink one. This one doesn't say anything on it. And then there was a blue and red one that both say service dog. But again, they look really tiny, so I think I'm gonna have to rehome those. And then this one I think will fit him. This has quite a big thing. But this is a cape uh, that is for, I think it's in French. And it's like if I ever went to another country, it has um, the Equality Act of 2010, Equal Human Rights Commission. It's like, uh, I guess, for different countries' laws on it. And then it just says that. It's a P&L vest. It's a Patience and Love vest, which means I think she custom designed it or someone custom designed it and she ordered it. So I don't think they like sell copies of this, but it came with a little leash uh, thing as well. So I'm gonna keep this one because this one definitely will fit him. And hopefully if the world goes back to normal, I'll be able to travel and use this someday. So that'll be fun. Then I got a rough wear rain jacket in blue so this one is what size did i get this is a size medium 27 to 32 inches so i might have to get a bigger one if he ever grows out of this but this is the size that he currently is i believe um so hopefully 
this works. Um, but this is just a rain jacket. I also purchased a better rain jacket that has, it like goes down their legs as well. So this one's more like a lightweight one. And then the other one I'm getting is like more full coverage. Next thing I got is a treat pouch. It's just a little fanny pack. My trainer has this one and I tried it out and I really liked it. So I purchased this. Um, you can just keep poop bags, treats, clickers, uh, other items in there. The next thing I have is a night towel LED safety necklace. It's basically a light up collar that you put around their neck uh, at night. So it lights up if you can see that. It's like blue and it lights up. So this is if you ever walk around at night, um, especially in the winter times, it's dark a lot, like after 5 p.m. So this is really helpful so that people can see him. Um, I also got this, which is a rough wear LED light. Um, actually, I don't know if it's LED, it's a waterproof light. And I haven't tested it out. I think I'd have to open it up to test it out, but this just hangs on their collar, I believe, or clips on their collar. Um, so just two different lights I could use if I go out at night. Um, oh, I did order, I guess I did order uh, filters or the person who sent them to me did, I don't remember, but here they are. They're at the bottom of the box. Uh, the next thing I got is a mud buster. This was like, uh, I think it was a shark tank item potentially, or it was something like TV related and it got super popular and I got it off of Chewy and it's teal and you fill it up with like a little bit of water and soap and you stick their paw in there like this and it cleans it right off. Uh, so that'll be super great to have. I don't know if you keep this in your car or if I would keep this just at home. I guess we'll just see what works out for me. My friend gave me two bandanas. This one says break the stigma, anxiety awareness. So I'll probably just use that for like a picture and then this is just a bandana as well. Um, I also got these Westpaw um, toy. He loves anything by Westpaw. Uh, so I got a bunch of these rubber things. So this one like kind of squeezes. So that's fun. Um, then I got a smart bell, which this is probably the button that I'll use to teach him to go outside. Uh, it's a little button that they, I think they press it with their nose or their paw. Um, I'll have to ask my trainer how to do it, but basically they push it and that tell, it like dings like a doorbell and then you know that your dog has to go to the bathroom. So got that. Um, next I have, what is this? Oh, <laughs> these are all of my clickers that I got. I just got a four pack on Amazon for like $4 and they are metal clickers, which I guess are better than the plastic ones. The plastic ones are what I always used with the cats and the rabbits, but my trainer recommended the metal ones, so I got some of those. Then I got this Benabone. Um, my trainer said he liked those, so I got that. This is the first bowl that I got, and I thought it was gonna be more teal colored, but it's more dark like teal, I guess. And it was way too big, like for travel, like it's pretty big. Next, she, my trainer recommended that I get Nature's Miracle. So I got the Severe Mess Enzyme Formula, Stain and Odor Eliminator. So that's fun. <laughs> A cleaner, yay. I got a long line. This is Mendota Pet um, and it's just an orange long line. I think it's 10, oh, 30 feet. So I just got a long line for him. And then by Mendota Pet as well, I got two leashes. I got this teal and black one. Cause like I said, his colors are gonna be like teal, black and white. So I got this. Um, and then I also got a black one for when he's wearing like a red vest. He can just wear the black one. Um, and then if, like I said, I'm getting other leashes too that are biothane, um, cause these are like rope material. So I'm gonna get biothane leashes as well, but I haven't made the order yet for that. So I'll just use these until those come in. I got a, another Westpaw toy, kind of similar, I guess. It's just like a stick thing. Um, then I got a collar. It's a three quarter inch medium collar. It's like a 14 to 20 something collar, which is the size 
that he wore when I was there. So hopefully he doesn't grow out of this by the time he comes home. And it's teal, and this is just a cheap collar that I got for um, everyday use. And then I wanna buy a really fancy collar um, that he'll wear on like special occasions or maybe just whenever I leave the house. There was this Etsy account called Lucky Tags and it came with this little pouch thing and it has a tag in it. Now I'm really worried, I wouldn't lose it. Um, and it clips on their collar and it just says Luca and then it says that he's microchipped and then it has my phone number. So that's just in case, you know, anyone ever found him or something and needed to get a hold of me. Um, they'll know he's microchipped and he'll know my, they'll know my phone number. So um, yeah, check them out on Etsy. I really liked them. And it came really fast too. A lot of the stuff left is like emergency stuff. Um, well, this isn't really emergency stuff, but this is a toothbrush and toothpaste for dogs. Not that exciting, but. <laughs> then I got these, which I got two of them, but they're kind of big bottles. I thought I was ordering the smaller size bottle, which is like the six ounce, but I somehow got the eight ounce. So basically I'm gonna have an emergency kit in my car and an emergency kit at home. Um, so this is a wound, what's it called? A wound spray. It basically flushes out the wound if they uh, got cut or anything. So that you spray this on first to like clean out the wound and then you spray this on afterwards, which is a antimicrobial hydro gel. And you can spray this on the wound and then bandage the wound if you need to. Uh, you can also use it without bandaging it. Um, this is just, you know, in case he ever gets cut and we're like out and about or even at home um, and it's just something minor that he doesn't need the vet for or I can do this before I go to the vet, you know, just for emergencies. Then I got uh, some ear cleaner, but I need to make sure I bought the right one because I just learned there's like a different, yeah, I think this is the right one. Um, it has cleansing and drying stuff so this helps especially with labs they're very prone to ear infections so he'll need his ears cleaned out um she did tell me that he does not like the liquid ear cleaner so hopefully we can get him used to that otherwise we'll have to use cotton balls for now um next we got a dremel which is i don't really know what the name of it it just says dremel i guess it's dremel brand and that's what he uh, my trainer uses to cut the nails so instead of like cutting them you use a dremel he's really good about it so i bought that i have this joint powder which is a supplement um he'll be on a joint supplement because he is a uh service dog so he he'll have more joint usage i guess than an average pet so a lot of the times it's good to put service dogs on a joint supplement. This is the one my trainer uses, so I got the same one. Next, I got some vet wrap, which is in teal, of course. Then I got some gauze pads. I think I wanna get some gauze wrap as well, um, but I'm just gonna buy that from like Walgreens or something or Walmart. Um, this is just from Walmart, just gauze pads. So if you know of any other things I should have in my emergency kit that I don't show in this video, let me know. But this is what I have so far. Oh, I also have this, which is hydrocortisone spray. This helps with hot spots. Um, dogs can get hot spots, especially on their feet, um, if they ever get moisture. It's, so I'm obviously gonna do my best to prevent hot spots, but if they happen, I do have a spray. And then I have some bag balm, which I think, uh, my trainer told me to get this and I forgot what it was for. It might've been for hot spots or something, I don't know but I bought it because she told me to get it. Then I bought two scissors, one at home and one for the car. This is like, they're called surgical scissors and I think it's for emergencies if you need to cut something. And also it can cut through a nylon collar. Um, so like if something happened and you need to cut the collar off, um, it's good to have that. So I got two of those, but that's all I have for emergency kit stuff. So. Definitely let me know if you know of anything else I should have. Then I have some shampoo. This is Earth Bath Oatmeal and Aloe Shampoo. Um, I freaked out because it said aloe, but then I did a ton of research and it turns out that um, it's only a certain part of the aloe plant that's dangerous. So it's the actual plant. If they ate it, it could cause diarrhea, but it's even not, it's normally not even fatal. Um, but the gel, the liquid gel of aloe is not toxic at all and vets even use it um, or recommend using it um, and a lot of groomers use it. So I got this. I think I might get conditioner as well. Um, so I need to order that, but the place that I ordered this from 
was out of conditioner, so I ordered it and it never showed up. So I need to order that. And then I also ordered uh, last night on Amazon some pet wipes. I ordered some travel packs that I'll keep in my car. And then I ordered like a big pack that I'll just keep at home um, that I can wipe them down with. That's everything. Um, oh, here's the tag. I'll show you the back of it. Obviously it isn't that fancy. I can maybe cover here. You can see his name. You can see it says Luca on it. So it's super cute. And then below it, it says microchipped and my phone number. So that's everything that I have. I have a couple random patches that came with the Amazon service dog patch thing, but I'm probably not gonna use those. So yeah, uh, that's it for now. Um, like I said, I have more stuff coming in the mail constantly. So that's what I have for now. If you guys need uh, links for any of this, you can go to uh, Luca's uh, Instagram, which will be linked down below. And you can DM me on there and I can send you the uh, list that I have that has links to everything on it. I'm just so excited. I feel like I don't have enough stuff. Is that bad? I feel like I need more. Um, also, if you're wondering why he doesn't have any stuffy toys, I did already buy him one. Um, which I guess I don't know if he's coming home with it. I guess it depends if it fits in my luggage. Um, but he's not a huge fan of stuffies. He'll kind of carry him around and he'll play with it if there's no other toy. But he loves the rubber West Paw toys, which is why I got those. But if you have any other recommendations for rubbery toys, let me know. I'll probably get a couple soft toys just in case he wants to play with them. Um, but he definitely loves these. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if this was helpful and if you have any questions on anything I bought, please know that I am not a dog expert. I've never owned a dog before. Uh, so please do not seek out me as advice. Don't ask me advice for like service dog training or diets or care or anything like that. I'm a beginner and I wouldn't want you getting your information from me. So definitely seek out more experienced handlers for things like that or contact a trainer um, because I am not a trainer. I will never be a trainer. I am just a person with a service dog. So thought I'd put that out there because I am not who people should go to for resources. But obviously if you have any questions on where I got things, I can definitely help you out with that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. So many of you guys donated so much to me and I'm so incredibly grateful. I could have never done any of this without you. A lot of this stuff was purchased either with money from the donations or um, his training bills were paid a lot through donations. And I, I just can't imagine doing it without you guys. So thank you guys so much. And thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys very soon on a new video. Bye. Literally just hit myself in the face. Ah.